Bodyguards machen. Ähm. Hi. John Marston. Where's my wife and son? Being well looked after. Well looked after. I want to see him. Mr. Ross wants to speak with you. We've had some important developments. You want me to take out a gun and blow a fucking hole in your head right here? <coughs> right now? You want that? Mr. Marston. You want that? Mr. Marston. I ask you to calm down. Why? Why? I did what you asked. I got you Williamson and a squaler. It's over. Stop playing games with me! No one's playing games with you, Mr. Mars. But if we were to play some games, there'd be some interesting ones we could play. Like hanging you for murder, or confiscating all of your property, like that little farm of yours, or, or having you put in an electric chair. Those are the sort of games we could play. But we choose to play a different game. So calm down and play along with us. Where's my wife? I forget, but I hear it's very nice this time of year. Mr. Marston, please, I've never insulted your meager intelligence. Do not insult mine. We've done this little deal for your freedom in exchange for all your men. You gave us Williamson and Esquela. You still don't command him. Go and shoot him. But, sir, I want you to shoot him for me. And then I'll let you be. But the last thing I want to do is commit martyrs like the Thomas Peter. He could be killed by some ex or by another lowlife. Yes. We believe Vanderlyn just holds up with a group of renegades near the rest. Head for the wreck of the terror. Oh my god! Look! I'm in a car, guys. Oh my god. John Marston. Yeah, I'm ready to go anywhere, haven't we? Right, has been used as an occasional criminal hideout for years. We were informed that Vanderlyn and his gang are making camp there. We'll stop on the cliff above, and you and Agent Fordham will go on foot. I'll stay with the vehicle and keep watch. And you'll do as I say, Marston. Don't try anything stupid. Oh, I think he knows what's at stake. Don't you, Mr. Marston? Let's find Dutch and finish this. Hang on, is it? Hang on. This map is next to the boat. And there's a fucking bridge. Come on, then, Marston. You're with me. Holy shit, there's a fucking boat. Look, look, look at it. Stay close. Yes, sir. Vanderlyn is the priority. We go in, take him down, get the hell out of here. Quick and clean. You leave Dutch to me. We don't want you getting that suit dirty. You can step out of line, even once. Well, I hope you're aware of the consequences. Seems 
real quiet, don't you think? You tell me. Maybe Dutch caught wind of things. That informant better not have been lying to us. Keep your eyes open. They are open. I don't see nothing. It doesn't feel right. This place is usually teeming with low life. Hello again. So this is my
accomplish why. Who's this? What in God's name is going on? Marston, lift the trello into the back seat. Put him in the car so we can get out of here. Let's go. There might be more of them. So I like the car. <clears throat> Wanna just skip. But we're very near the bottom. Okay. This is going to be must have. That means there's something better. Or something else. Okay. Vanderlings, and he 
see what you can find out for us. Do my best, sir. Make sure you do. Professor McDougal has been a good friend of the U.S. government in this past, and just like you. Just like you, what the fuck is a car going so I would like to go and drive it. I like the car. I like to drive. Oh my god, are we doing this with me? Anyway, <clears throat> it's been very nice doing this episode with you. And we will see you uh, in Muck, whatever that guy was, thing. See you later, guys. Bye.